everybody and welcome back to the KK Zone. As always, I am Kara Kaufman, your host, and we have, since last we spoke, had two more games against the Tampa Bay Rays. Mixed bag, frankly, mixed bag. Yankees won one and lost one, but you know what? Having already won the first game in the series and then splitting the second two means that they won the series. Yes! It has been forever since the Yankees won a series against the Rays. Legit, they didn't do it at all last year, and they haven't done it at the Trop since May of 2019. That's insane. A streak that had to be broken, and I'm glad it was. Is it frustrating to win the first two games and then not win the third to sweep twice in a row? It is. However, that is two consecutive series wins against two very good teams that have plagued the Yankees in recent years, so I'm going to call this one a win. Yeah, I am. I think it's great. And I'm even going to go ahead and recap both of these two games in two minutes. That's right. It's a challenge for me, and I'm taking it on right now. Ready, set, go. Wednesday night at the Trop. It was Garrett Cole, Garrett Cole, and all Garrett Cole, and really not anybody else at all. The Yankees won this game 1-0. Ah, these are just crazy games. 1-0 is a hard game to win, and let me tell you something. Garrett Cole pitched eight innings. He allowed four hits, zero runs, zero walks, 12 strikeouts, including in the eighth inning, he struck out the side. He had probably his best inning of the night, his last inning of the night. I, it was unbelievable to watch him. Um, did the Yankees score a run to win? Thank God, thank God they did, because that would have been a terrible one to lose. And uh, there were only six hits for the Yankees that night. Three of them were by Judge, who had a great night. Two were by Gio Urshela, one was by Tyler Wade, and none of those hits drove in the one run. That would be Aaron Hicks with the excellent RBI sacrifice fly. That was very exciting. Uh, thank goodness for it, because you can't waste a Garrett Cole masterpiece like that. I'll talk about Garrett Cole a little more here. First of all, at this point in the season, in his first eight starts, he has 70 strikeouts and fewer than three walks. Uh, that is the first time any pitcher in the major leagues has ever done that in their first eight starts. Unreal. He also has, it's been 56 strikeouts since his last walk. That's amazing. Corbin Burns of the uh, Brewers has done that for now 58 straight batters, but then he walked somebody, so his streak is not active. Coles is active, so if he strikes out three more guys before he walks a guy, uh, that's going to be a record. That's going to be amazing. Let's hope it happens. And also, how about this? He, in the middle of all those strikeouts on Wednesday, he struck out his 1,500th batter, and that was, he's the fourth fastest in Major League history to reach that milestone. We are so lucky to have Garrett Cole. I can't even explain how lucky we are, and it was a great game to watch. Chapman came in, closed it out, big save. Big, big, big win! Um, I, I can't stress enough how much watching him makes me completely delighted. Oh yeah, they also played a game on Thursday. They lost it one to nine. It was really embarrassing. Everyone was terrible. Okay, great! <laughs> I mean, I will stand by that. Uh, the game they lost one to nine on Thursday was a brrrp, wompity womp game. Tyone got lit up, King got lit up, Justin Wilson got lit up, and we only had five hits that day. And hilariously enough, once again, the one run we scored did not score any of the hits. It was in uh, RBI double play ball in the, in the top of the ninth inning off the bat of Quinn Frazier. That's bad. When your only run scored is off a double play ball in literally the last inning of the game, that is poor offense. Poor offense. And good pitching, give the Rays some credit, but come on, guys. Gotta swing them a little better. That being said, I was so overjoyed by that Wednesday win that I'm willing to overlook the Thursday loss, call it a bad day at the office, and move right along. Good series. Good series. Okay, this doesn't quite merit a whiteboard of doom because there's nothing official yet, but updates on some folks. Gleyber Torres is still on the COVID IL. He has tested positive for COVID-19. He's asymptomatic. He feels great, he says. They think he's going to come off soon. All he has to do is test negative twice since he is vaccinated and asymptomatic. So hopefully soon. Uh, also, Gio Urshela seems to have hurt himself again. Maybe he's still out. And Aaron Hicks has been out a couple games. Turns out he has a tear in the sh uh, sheath around his wrist. That's not good, y'all. Mark Teixeira had this injury, and according to him on Twitter, what he said was it could be a couple weeks and it could be great. The, the cortisone and the medications could work and you could be fine, or you could have surgery and miss the whole year. So, hey, those are two not equal outcomes, and I'm hoping for the one that gets Aaron Hicks back in the lineup sooner rather than later. So those are all things to keep an eye on, but nothing concrete as yet. And my one fun thing today, once again, the Blue Jays. They're just a fun team. I'm going to probably really not enjoy watching them beat the Yankees when, when that happens for the remainder of the year, because... Optimistic as I am, the Jays are going to beat us sometimes. They're probably the best other team in our division. Anywho, 
they're so much fun. So this is, uh, this photo right here is a freeze frame of a really delightful sequence in which this is their closer, Romano, pitching, um, and it is Vladdy Jr. playing first base but shifted, so you can see he's pretty much second baseman in that position. Uh, he is basically shadowing Romano's windup, which is kind of a funny thing. He like does the whole like thingy and then he, he crouches down low and then stands up and goes to his windup. Well, Vladdy, this whole last at bat here was crouching right along with him every single time. It's hilarious, it's adorable, it is fun. The crowd started noticing and like cheering during the windup. I wonder if Romano knew what was going on. He obviously couldn't see Guerrero behind him, but I wonder if he was like, why are they getting so loud while I wind up? Unclear. But in any case, I found this completely delightful. Thank you, Vlad Jr., for my fun moment of the week. Okay, I think that's all I've got. I'm keeping it kind of quick. We've got a series against the Orioles on tap starting tonight. Three games there, um, and we'll see. The Orioles are, you know, we played them a bunch, so we're kind of familiar with them, and this, these are games that the Yankees should win. But to win them, they're probably going to have to hit a bit. I just want to shout out one more time how good the pitching has been. Like, I know I just rhapsodized over Garrett Cole for quite some time, and he's unbelievable, but the rest of the Yankee staff has been really good. Tyone got lit up last night a bit. Lit up. He lost four runs. In, you know, it's not great. That's not great. But could have been worse. And he's been, you know, he's still finding his groove post surgery. And I'm, I'm, I'm encouraged by a lot of the signs. But even with that rough start, include the Yankee starters have been excellent. Also, the Yankees relievers have been good. The Yankees pitching in general has been above expectations. I'm willing to say. Meanwhile, the offense has not met what they're supposed to be doing at all. But in their defense, the whole league offense is kind of like down on the floor right now. So I have faith the bats are going to come around and when they do, watch out league. Hey, they're going to Camden Yards. Right now as we speak, they're going to be playing Camden Yards. Maybe that will help them get some hits. Let us hope so. And you know I must haiku every game, win or loss, delight or terror, they all get a haiku. So here is the haiku following Garrett Cole's masterpiece on Wednesday. <clears throat> Is it possible for Cole to pitch every day? Asking for a friend. The friend is me. Can he? I know he can't. Wouldn't it be cool if he could? Yankees might win every day. That would be unbelievable. Love watching Garrett Cole. Are you sensing a theme? Yeah. Okay. But I also wrote a haiku after the discouraging loss yesterday, and that was... <clears throat> well, that game happened, and that's all there is to say. Hey, look over there! Did you look? Did it work? Distract, did you distract yourself from looking at the box score of that game? Whew, I hope so, because it's not worth looking at. But you know what? Turn the page, new series, new chance for the bats to break out big, and for the pitching to continue its excellence. And two, we must have a quote. I'm going with Stephen Sondheim again, and I'm actually going with Into the Woods again, because this one just works really well for this current situation. It is. Is it always or is it never and? And the baker's wife wondering, something we all wonder, like, must it be A or B? Why can't it ever be both? And I have this to say. Why must the pitching be good or the hitting be good, but never both? And I think both will happen sooner than we think. And that is my bold prediction for the coming days of Yankees baseball. In the meantime, we got this Orioles series coming up. I'm going to be watching. We will talk about what happens when it happens. Until then, though, as always, go Yanks.